Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. Guys, we are about to dig into dinner. Happy Sunday, by the way. Let's bless this food. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, dear Lord. We thank you for this food that you have provided, Lord. We ask you to please let it be a nourishment to our bodies. We ask you to provide for those who do not have. Lord, we ask you to bless and heal those that are going through sickness and pain. Father, we thank you. In your son's name, amen. Welcome in, guys. Thank you for being here. If it's your first time here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click on the bell for there for you'll notify each time we post a video. If you've been here already, welcome back. Thank you for coming. Let's do a thumbnail, guys. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, okay, so I hope you guys all seen what I was prepping. Let's do this. All right, that's good. That's all I'm doing. All right, I got my little mic right here. I feel like it doesn't pick up enough sound. I don't know. Guys, help me out here. Give me the name of a really good microphone, please. Come on, guys. I can't. I went through a lot. I spent money and wasted my money and crap. Then I lost my money. I couldn't get it back. I had to get um, credit. And so I'm just agitated now. I don't know what to do. So anyways, let's dig in. We got some, we got this big old, this huge, I should hold it up. This huge salmon head. Wait, let me see if I can hold it up. <laughs> There's the eye. Wait, let me see if I can. Oh, this is a mess here. So I got this big old salmon head. Don't mind the... Uh. All right. All right, so let's leave my mic right here. Hopefully it'll get some sound in it today. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired of trying. No, I'm not. Anyway, so I got this. I got some mashed potatoes here. Mmm. So good. So good. What do I have in my mashed potato? I have sour cream. I have cream cheese. I got mustard. I got parsley. And a little bit of butter. Mmm. So good. And I'm drinking on water, guys. Mm -hmm. So how you guys been? How are you guys doing? For real, for real. Just let me know. How have I been? I'm counting my blessings. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Mm. I got a lot of red chili peppers up here. I like to see the colors. I mean, I do eat them too, but I like to see the colors of the, the vibrant colors. <laughs> so yeah, what are you guys eating on? Please tell me you brought something to eat with me. Mm. Mm. Sorry, guys. Yeah, some people might ask, why do you like to eat bony stuff? I don't know. I just love it. I just really super love it. It's fun. <laughs> mm. So they changed the time back. I didn't even realize it. Today I woke up, I'm like, okay, why is it my phone is saying 6 a.m.? But my microwave is saying 7. 
Then I realized, I went and Google. Because I am just not, I don't watch the news. I don't want to hear anything crazy because it just gives me really bad anxiety. So I try to stay out of it. So I Googled it and that, yeah, it's gone back. Is it back or ahead? Oh God, I can't remember. Anyways, I think it went I think it went ahead or something like that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Mm, this is good. And I got me some asparagus here. I steamed them. Mmm. You know what I did? I put them in the air fryer. Wrapped in foil with parsley and um, parsley garlic butter. And yes, sir, it is the last year so. Mm. Another thing I woke up to this morning, I was just watching um, the Carter family. Who knows about the Carter family? They're big YouTubers. They live in Florida. They're Jamaicans, but they live in uh, Florida. And um, mm, the wife is Chrissy. Hubby goes by the name CMR. He also has a, a channel of his own, but they have the family channel, channel as well. So I woke up to, as soon as I went on YouTube, I saw... I'm like, no, 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 what am I, is this a prank? Because I know they do a lot of pranks, right? So I'm like, CMR arrested. Arrested for um, pedophile or... I'm saying CMR arrested, okay. And so, of course, now that I'm curious to know if this is for real or not, my stupid batteries in my converter died. It kept flickering. I couldn't change the channel. I couldn't do nothing. I'm like, what the heck is this? My girlfriend's like, go on, you, go on your phone. I'm like, no, no, no. I want to see it on the TV. It's... <laughs> Anyways, bottom line is, yeah. CMR is in jail. Well, I don't know if he's, if he got bail or not. CMR is a father of um four girl children and no boys a couple years ago he was in a, a big thing i guess evidently he was having an affair with an, uh, a younger girl mm. it was a big thing anyways he apologized, whatever. They made uh, him and his wife, they, you know. And now, they're saying that he's arrested. Oops, sorry. For um, molestation of a, a, a person under, what is it, 15 or something like that? This is a married man with a whole sexy wife. So, I'm thinking, okay, it must, maybe it really is a prank. I decided to go um, Google Orange County. Well, holy and be down. There was this mugshot arrested. So evidently he's, um, I don't know who he molested. I went on TikTok. Hmm. to see who it was that he molested. Because I hear a lot of people say, asking, is it someone he molested in his household? Because he has three daughters with the wife, but he has, she, the wife has one daughter. I believe she's, I'm not sure, 14? It's so messed up. Mm-mm. Guys, 
What the heck is happening in this world? These are the signs of the times, eh? I'm telling you. Holy crap. Too much shit is happening. It's scary. It really is. I was just watching them last night. The Halloween uh, thing. Vlog. With the kids and, you know, going out trick-or-treating. He took the girls out trick-or-treating, too. I mean, I think his youngest daughter, Olivia, she's probably about two. What am I saying two? She's about four. She's about the same age as my granddaughter. And um, the eldest, which is one he adopted, is, I think, 14 or 15. I think she's 14. But I can't believe this. People are, like, slashing... Um, not slashing, but they were just. Saying that they can't believe this guy did this. They thought, they said, how come if it didn't go in the media, we wouldn't have known because his wife. <laughs> That's what people are saying, that his wife would have covered it and swept it under the, car uh, the carpet like usual. Because that's the kind of wife they say she is. I don't know. I just don't know. But I feel like one 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 of the um, TikTokers made a comment. He just said, "If your wife, if your husband left you for a younger woman." Or cheat on you with for a younger woman or a younger girl. That could always he will always cheat on you with a younger girl. Is that true? I don't know. I heard that though. They were saying that. But she's his wife is beautiful. She's a young, she's a, probably in her early 30s. I don't remember. They've mentioned their age, but. <clears throat> Whoa. Sorry, guys. Lemon water. I decided to go back on drinking it. My dentist can't tell me what to do. I have to drink lemon water. He tells me not to drink because it's messing up my teeth. But I love that. Anyways, the bottom line is salmon. Why does men... Why would a man... Like, I'm so confused. Is it because I don't want to sit here and speculate or, like, you have daughters. Well, I didn't see that video, but I heard that this person described to the T's what he did. Like, I heard that the the person that this happened to explained it to the T's. I don't know, man, that he, um, what he did to her. And if this is an under 15-year-old person, like, what are you saying to me? Guy, you have daughters. That's embarrassing. That's, that is gross. You're a big YouTuber, content creator. I mean, guys, they really are. They have, Chrissy has, a, his wife has her own makeup line. They She gets a, sponsored by so many different companies. This is horrible. I couldn't believe what I was watching. Hopefully, 
it's uh, it's not true. Like <laughs> I can't even say that because I saw it. I saw the whole mugshot on Orange County. So that means it's true. I don't know who he molested, but I hopefully it's none of his family members. That's crazy. That is crazy. Mm -mm. Can I tell you guys? Y'all know, well, some of you know I have three kids. My baby is 24. Mm -hmm. Until this day. I'm just not like, I think once you're a mom or a parent, there's just certain things that you just can't help. I will forever be that mom that I am. I can't change. I, I'm sorry. From I became a parent, I'm the way I am. I check on my kids no matter how old they are. I know they get. They think I get on their nerves. I know I get on their nerves. To be honest, I don't care. I'm still in their business. Well, to an extent. I want to know they're good. My God, I feel bad for the wife. For This is embarrassing. Like, Gosh, it's not even embarrassing. It's just, I don't even know what to say. This is horrible. What do you guys think? Like... Shit, this is like, whoa, guy, what, what, what are you doing? Like, are you, you're crazy. If this is what you did. Anybody who does shit like this, married men especially, big grown ass men with kids and a wife, a whole wife, a whole young, beautiful wife. What are you doing with, uh, with these little girls. You obviously have issues. Mm -mm. Guys, check it out. Go check it out. I couldn't believe it. When I seen it. I was on the phone with my girlfriend. She, she didn't even know who I was talking about. She goes, who the hell is that? I said, he's a huge YouTuber that lives in Florida. And, um, I don't like to see dark parts on my meat. It scares me. So, yeah. I thought I'd share that with you guys. That's what I woke up to today. November 3rd. 2024. Jesus. What is happening in this world? And I know that I've been um, following that P. Diddy stuff too. I mean, I know the, the, the internet says a lot of shit. But did J-Lo like take off or something? I heard that they were saying that she ran away. She bought a one-way one ticket, you know, because she doesn't want to be questioned or something. Because all the stuff is coming out. Listen. Mm -mm. There's a lot going on, man. God help us. That's all I can say. God help us all. What's happening in this world? First there's floods. There's fires. 
A young woman just recently threw herself and her two kids off of Niagara Falls. The, her youngest was um, five months, and um, her nine-year-old son. That happened on Monday. I don't know if they found the body yet, because up until um, up until a few days ago, they still couldn't find the bodies. There's a lot going on. Listen. We all going through something. Sometimes we might talk about it. Most of the times we won't. We will sit with it. And I'm, not a lot of people are able to carry so much weight. You know what I mean? Like carry so much on their head or on their shoulders per se. And so uh, it drives them to other stuff like doing bad things excuse me so i'm just sitting here thinking and i'm asking you guys uh, excuse me what do you think that i think half of this country this world is has ptsd but let me tell you something i have ptsd i'm not ashamed to say it i have anxiety I have a lot of issues, but I don't feel like, and I pray to God that these things never cross my mind, ever. I mean, and don't judge me, because I mentioned this to someone, and they said, I said to them about the woman that threw herself over the bridge with her kids, I said, that's unfair, because you have your life. Why didn't you give them a chance? And, you know, basically they, the person said, well, she maybe didn't want to leave them in this world to suffer. But that's not your choice to take their lives either. I feel like that was selfish. What do you think? I think that was selfish. Give your kids a chance at life. If you feel like you don't want to be here anymore because you lost your man and you feel like my life is over, uh, thanks for